Hello, hello. So I am running Ubuntu GNOME 17.04 on my main computer. And uh, earlier when I was testing this out, I think it was 16.04, I was having some issues with the uh, video and audio, but now it seems to be resolved. And um, but I had also some issues finding a good equalizer, and I found kind of a workaround before uh, using like the terminal and some command and edit some configuration files, but it was just a mess. And sometimes it worked, and sometimes sometimes it didn't work. But this time around, I actually found a good one <laughs> that works without using the terminal and without editing configuration files. And it's the pulse effects. And uh, yeah, it's kind of per app based, sort of, so you can sort of turn them on and off. And um, I'm going to show you with the web browser here. So this is one of my previous videos. Hello, hello. And so, uh, now you see it's down here, Chrome playback. And you also get this sort of spectrum analyzer. And um, I was going to share a photo and you can on it. turn it on and off. So this is default. was on my second drive here. So there's a m big difference. And it's the share folder. So let's turn it off. And um, right now you just have the Chrome playback here, but if you add another, for example, another browser or some video playing software, it will also show up there. It <laughs> went away. But it will show up here as well, and you can turn that on and off. So you can have multiple software down here. So you might want to have the equalizer on some of the software, but not on the other. So it's really, really well. And uh, I just installed this and I haven't really used it that much, but just EQ set that up. And you also got some reverberation here and it was pre-configured, so I just turned that down to zero because I was getting some echoes and stuff. And also the volume was really low, so I had to put on the input gain up a little bit. And of course you yeah, got a compressor and stuff as well. So yeah, there's a bunch of settings here. Yeah, you can see cathedral and stuff. No compression input limiter so yeah there's a bunch of settings and you also got um, different presets here for the uh, equalizer and you can also um, load and save presets so I just saved this one to I went to uh, action mega and software Ubuntu and saved it like this so yeah and of course you can load everything and this is uh, for the spectrum analyzer so that you see what kind of frequency is going up and down so it's sort of logarithmic here <laughs> so the distance between them are it's a big gap here but yeah this is uh, a really nice uh, sort of equalizer with other functionality and I um, actually found it over here on this website and I put the link to it in the video description and I just scroll down here to the bottom and here you can have different versions Oh, it's for 32-bit then. So I ch chose this pulse effect. 
64 bit and just press that one it and it will download and just save and then you install it just uh, go to the uh, downloads folder um, downloads and double click on it and you will install it with the um, regular software uh, was called um, uh, the built-in software this so you install it with this one yeah so just install it with this software so yeah that's how, kind of how you do it so yeah kind of nice that I finally got Ubuntu GNOME working properly so now I just have to look for some good video editing software so if you have any suggestion for that yeah put it in the comments so see you later